Here we're going to go over code versus round ADD3 problem E2 Rudolph and Snowflakes. In this problem, we must connect a graph outwards by k vertices at each step. So upon each step, we must add k new vertices to each previous leaf. And we have to see which n are achievable graphs in this way. So let's work out a quick example for this problem. Let's start with k equals 3. When k equals 3, let's draw a graph right here. Drawing this graph, we can see that at each step, three new leaves are, are added to each previous leaf. And so we're multiplying a number of leaves by three each step. Thus, for all k, the, all n that can be expressed as a graph on k can be expressed as 1 plus k plus k squared plus k cubed, and so on, all the way to k to the r. And this sum is equal to k to the n plus r plus 1 over minus 1 over k minus 1. Now we know n is equal to k to the r plus 1 minus 1 over k minus 1, and, or 1 plus k plus k squared plus k cubed, all the way to k to the r. So what can we do with this information now? That means we can take the rth root of n, and the floor of this will be equal to k. And the reason for this is that the binomial expansion of k plus 1 to the r will be greater than 1 plus k plus k squared all the way to k to the r. If I take 1 plus k to the r, this will be 1 plus k choose 1 plus k choose 2 times k squared plus k choose 3 times k cubed and so on, which will be greater than n. Thus, an algorithm here is to iterate through only exponents. And since 2 to the power of 64 is greater than 10 to the 18th, we only really need to deal with 65 exponents. So to find what n are possible, we, or if an n is possible, we only need to take the rth root of n at each step. And then we're done. Now let's cut this problem up. At each step, we have an integer t, and we'll input into this t and iterate through each of these test cases. In each test case, we have our integer n, which we have to determine whether or not is possible. And then we'll iterate through up to 70 exponents, just to be safe. And within this iteration, we need to keep track of what our current root of n is. And that's just going to be n to the power of 1 over i. Now once we've taken our current root, we have to find whether or not the sum of 1 all the way to current root to the power of i adds up to n. And we can do this by keeping track of sums and powers of the current root. So we'll iterate from the first power all the way to the i-th power of the current root. And we'll get a total sum, 1 plus k plus k squared all the way to k to the r. Now we'll implement a Boolean checking variable to see whether or not we've achieved our n through some variation of current root. And obviously, if our current root is less than 2, we failed as we've taken a power much too large. And near the end of our loop, what we will do is we will check whether or not our sum is equal to n, and in which case, we'll make check true. And finally, we're just going to output whether or not check came out to be true or not. Now, what we have to do is we also have to make all these integers long longs, because we're dealing with numbers on the scale of 10 to the 18th power, which is much larger than the 10 to the 9th or something on the scale of 10 to the 9th, which can be fit into a normal integer. Now let's submit this to the Code Forces website and see what we get. And as you can see, our code has been accepted. Thank you for watching.